I started music in the schools because I see a need in the state of Texas to improve on the music programs in our public school system. Music is very important to me. It always has been important to me. I've been singing since I was six. And I attended public schools here in San Antonio, and I always was in music programs. And they made a really big difference in my life. I want to make sure that kids here in this city and all around the state have the same kind of opportunities that I had. Our purpose is to create positive activities for the youth in music programs and to bring much needed recognition to music programs in our schools. Our second purpose is to raise funds to financially support music programs in the state. And um, so I started a contest where high schools from all over the city can participate to be recorded in an upcoming nationally released album. I'm going to be recording my next album here in San Antonio, and I'm going to feature one lucky high school on that album. getting the email confirming Johnson's participation in the Music in the Schools contest. I was really kind of surprised because Johnson was a new school and at the time the students had only been playing together for about eight weeks. So when they entered the contest it really showed me that they have a lot of confidence and belief in themselves. So Mrs. George, when I called you about the Music in the Schools contest, what kind of went through your head about it? Well first thing that came to my mind was this would be the perfect opportunity for us to be put on the map. Mm -hmm. And that's mainly because this is a brand new school, so not a lot of people know about Johnson High School. But we haven't had our chance to really show who we are mm -hmm. and what we're about, and so I thought that this was the perfect opportunity to, to do that. Mm -hmm. What makes this one different or unique than other contests that you've entered? When we're learning rock music mm -hmm. for a competition. You never learn rock music for a competition. One of the students especially was like, how do we play this music? I don't know how to play this music. Because they're just not used to that. They haven't had that kind of exposure. Mm -hmm. uh, they certainly listen to their music on the iPods, you know, all their rock music that they enjoy. But they never really play it. Mm -hmm. What's exciting about learning the music for the Music in the Schools contest? It's definitely the genre of the music. We're classically trained musicians, and for us to play rock and roll music, you know, last week we were playing Beethoven and now we're playing rock music. So. It's, it's making them think outside the box, which is exactly what we're supposed to do as teachers. I'm originally from San Antonio. I'm actually a graduate of Hardendale High School. I've been here at Jay for the last six years and I was actually here when the program was uh, basically 18 kids. That's basically how we started and, you know, for the first couple of years it was a little rough. Second year we had some success at UIL and little by little, you know, the ball got rolling. Uh, next thing you know, we're uh, going to competitions around the country. We produce some all-staters now. We've got various members in the region. Uh, our program now is roughly a little under 80 uh, students. My name is Laura. Uh, I'm an officer here in the orchestra. Uh, I am treasurer. I am second chair viola, and uh, I love what I do. I'm Adam Rodriguez, and I'm in 11th grade. I think we have the smallest orchestra in uh, Northside and we've really bonded together because of that. We're one of the best, I feel we're one of the best uh, orchestras in Northside. 
A lot of our students are in Science Academy. Actually, most of our students are in the Science and Engineering Academy. Some are in Student Council. Some are in different various clubs throughout the school. What was your first reaction, and why did you ultimately decide to enter? Well, my first reaction was like, ooh, prize money. My, you know, second reaction honestly was, ooh, can we do this? Because this is UIL time for us. For UIL, you know, UIL is our tax time basically, and we really have to kind of buckle down and prepare. And mainly, the main thing that ran across my mind was, is this beneficial for my kids? Is this going to ultimately help or hinder them? So I thought about it, and uh, you know, we came to the conclusion that it would be a really good thing to do. It'd be fun. Uh, it'd be beneficial. And even if we didn't win, I think the kids would really get some very positive, real life experience, you know, out of it. The fine arts are a way for kids to kind of just get away from academics for a period and, and just express themselves. And, and that's how I feel about orchestra. As you might know, some studies have shown that um, students actually fare well better on tests and um, academic areas when they when they're in music, such as band, choir, and orchestra. We're we're really like tight family. It's just how we've become to be like since we've been in orchestra in high school. Marshall High School has a wonderful group of students. Miss Vega was the first conductor to enter her school into the contest. I was ecstatic because she was the first one in. She made the contest a reality. I had never met Miss Vega, but I remember her telling me that she just wanted her students to have an opportunity. I really want the kids to have as many opportunities as possible. We've devoted um, every Wednesday. Ever since I've talked to you about it, I said Wednesdays, and I said, we're going to go out with a fight. Miss Vega is, is probably the finest uh, community uh, liaison for the art. She, she has her kids performing professionally in professional environments all over the city for decades. I mean, she is just, that's, that's part of how she teaches her kids. She wants them to know what it's like to be a working artist. If we win, we can give the kids better quality instruments. I think that would really help our program. These instruments are ancient. What's the most fun part about being in this contest? Um, the challenge. Mm -hmm. we're, we love to be presented with a new challenge. We're constantly asking for something new. And this is completely different and we love it. So these kids are, are coming after, the, going to the games afterwards or coming from a game and, or practice and coming tired, but still committing themselves to this. I've enjoyed very much getting to know the students of the John Marshall Orchestra. They have an enthusiasm for learning and a passion for competing. It can be daunting to go up against some of these bigger schools. So I'm proud of each one of them for taking on this new challenge, for learning the music and not giving up. Bob Jones is the uh, orchestra director at Taft. He is really not a string player by trade. He's a trumpet picker. He is an accomplished uh, orchestral conductor. He loves and does his homework. His program is huge. Uh, he's had uh, spent a lot of time bringing in the uh, commissioner of education in Texas. He has, has a lot of endowment command performances by the uh, Taft Orchestra. Uh, it was one of our first uh, full orchestras that went to UIL. What was it that was exciting about the contest for you? Well, this is something we've never had a chance to do before and uh, to play with a recognized artist and it's just a new experience for the kids. The recording studio kind of thing it's just uh, allows me to open up their whole musical horizon to areas that they otherwise would never get to see. What is it that you love most about being an orchestra director? The kids. You know, they are so phenomenal. It's just like every one of them is a pocket of unlimited ability. And when I take my baton and they allow me to share that with them and focus it to the audience, I feel like I'm getting paid more than Bill Gates. Hopefully they'll all go on and have music as part of their life and they'll take this experience as something they'll cherish forever. I mean, it's like they'll never get a chance to do anything like this again. Judson High School. They're known in San Antonio for their football team, but I want you to meet Judson High School Orchestra. I know you'll be just as impressed as I was. My playing history is all in commercial music, and I'm trying to get that going in the Judson program. I want them to understand what it is to play in a band situation because 
Ultimately, I would like these kids to be able to go and continue playing their music after they leave high school. When Mr. Helsley said, okay, we're going to enter this music in the schools contest, what did y'all think? It's a great opportunity for the Judson Orchestra because we're a new program. Mm. So to get our name out there and for people to kind of see us getting involved will be good for the program. It's a really fun opportunity to have some you know, different styles of music and enjoy what we do a bit more. Mm -hmm. And then not only to play with a world you know, renowned star, no, I'm not trying to flatter you or anything, I'm just, <laughs> but you, you are Lynette Bram and it's just kind of ridiculous that somebody has arranged a piece so that we can join you mm -hmm. and hopefully maybe play on stage, get on a recording. Mm -hmm. and, and also just, the competition is really interesting because it's not just the judges, but we're used to playing just in front of judges. It's really a great opportunity to get the internet involved and get the public involved. Unfortunately, a lot of the orchestra stuff is, is not as popular anymore. Mm -hmm. And if we don't start changing the way we teach the kids, you know, and the, the styles of music that are available now, I'm afraid that we're going to lose the, the instruments altogether, the string instruments. So um, I'm really hoping that this will catch on and this can become maybe a new, a new direction for orchestras. Kids in high school music programs get a lot of activity. Those teachers have them busy. They have rehearsals before school. They do sectional rehearsals. They bring in private teachers and coaches. So. That symphonic music today you know, needs this infusion of excitement like rock music provides. And all the great artists now are coming back around at the top of their careers. You know, look at Metallica, look at uh, Rod Stewart, look at, you know, they're all recording with symphony orchestra now. So we've got to figure out how can we preserve the kinds of programs that will be there in the next several years for our kids and for our students. Artists are survivors, and fine arts will never go away. You know, that's something that's uh, innate and created to mankind, and, and it's essential to, and, and the human being always finds a way to have arts because we have to have fine arts to be a whole person. So regardless of what happens in terms of, of funding or districts and, or, or organized curriculum programs, the arts are going to survive. People just have to have the right mindset about saying, I'm going to make it happen. Music is the great integrator of all the things that we know and learn. It is a way that people understand mathematics. Mathematics is, and music is many times, a beautiful mathematic formula. So people understand that the music and art add to and complement the core courses, the basics of understanding, but this is what puts it into meaning. This is what gives us beauty. This is what gives us new ideas. Uh, and I, I fully agree that that kind of a program, and that's why I want a very sophisticated music program, also gives the, the very capable student an outlet and an engagement. It gives the student who has, is struggling a way to succeed, a way to have a place in the school. And so I think it is very essential that we keep these programs and we find every way to do that. I think what makes me happiest about this contest is just seeing people participate. Thousands of people went online and voted for their school. Students practiced long hours with their conductors. When people are participating in projects like music in the schools, the city is alive. Students are alive with a fever, a renewed energy. Creating activities where students can come together and participate in something great is what gives me hope. I'm thrilled to have had the opportunity to work with all six of these wonderful schools. They are each special. They each have a story to tell, a unique history, and a future. But their future is now in the hands of this community. If each of you gives a donation tonight, we can start to build the foundation of a great program called Music in the Schools that will year-round bring forth creativity and new opportunities for students all around our city. Can you imagine if this program grows what projects we can create next year? But we need your support and involvement. We want to expand. Next year we want to create a mariachi contest for the schools in our inner city. Help us grow by giving a tax-deductible donation tonight before you leave. We have tables in the lobby 
where you can make your donation. Again, I thank you. You being here tonight gives us all a chance to do something we love. You've been a great audience, and I look forward to meeting you after the show.